All right, guys, what is up? We are back again with a, another video. We are going to be talking about some base location theory crafting in Gloomrot. Now, suffice to say, I have not played the beta. I have a lot of screen grabs from maps that I was able to get from other videos. I got these specifically. Again, I mentioned the other video from a boy here. Please, I'll link his, you know, I'll link this video, link his channel in the description. Go show him some love. This has been super, super helpful. Uh, I have not been able to find a such a in-depth review. First of all, of just like the stuff that's coming in Gloomrot. That you know, he has a really good. This video is amazing. It shows so much information. Um, he's a French French player. Go give him some love. Um, but also, like I said, I haven't found like a, a, a good image of the map like this, you know, that he's had on this video. So this has been really good. I think he also mentioned he's posting a video that's going to go more in depth on the, on the map. So again, go subscribe, go check out his videos. Um, so we're going to talk about just some theory crafting in general from what I've seen in Gloomrot so far. Um, there is a lot of information. A lot of information, a lot of changes that have happened in the end to the maps. So first things first, I'll explain the territory system, how that works. You can see these little highlighted locations here. Um, you can see, uh, you know, all these different highlighted spots on the map here. Um, what happens is this, you go into a spot like this, but, you know, say you pick your spot, you want this one here. You walk into your base location, then you put down your castle heart that claims the entire zone. However, you still have to use borders to build, which means you don't get to just be like, oh, I'm going to claim this location with Castle Heart and then like build every single thing around it and make it, you know, perfectly protected. What it means is you're going to have to protect, like you're going to have to build a Castle Heart here and then build your borders like you normally do to block off the entrances and whatnot. And I'm not sure how the, exactly how the borders are in each tier, but I did notice that in tier one, instead of a base of 30, it's now 40. So keep that in mind. You're what you are going to have to. You are sorry. You are going to have to build up your. Uh, you, sorry, build your borders to claim after after you claim your location. So the claiming the the, the location makes it so no one else can build in that zone, and things like bat form people can't land in your location with bat form so hallelujah you don't have to put explosive boxes in corners of bases to keep people from landing anymore yay it's done luck we did it we did it boys all right so um base location theory crafting uh i'm going to see if i can pull an image uh, let's see here so we have a huge, huge, huge map um, of every single location. So we're going to start going off of in Farbane. Sorry, this is taking forever. I have so many different tabs open. So we're going to start going um, in Farbane here. Now you can notice here, there's actually a ton of changes to the map. Like way more than I was expecting. I look, you know, that one image, the first video I did a while ago, it was like, oh, you know, I can imagine they're changing some of it. Well, actually, they changed a ton of these locations, and I'm going to through. Like, I'm just talking about this. I'm going to talk a little bit about what I would say is things to consider. This is, this is the same kind of things you could consider on any base location in the current state of the game, but this is going to be adjusted for the idea of gloom rot. Meaning, now that all four cave exits exit in Farbane, you heard me correct. All four exit in Farbane. So there's one here, one here. There's one over by Bear, and there's one over by Clive right here. So now that, that now that every single exit is in Farbane, that means every single cave in the game has a, so this has access to every cave in the game, which means any time you're going to build here, you actually have an you have an access point to another zone. Um, that's huge. If you know anything about my normal, you know my my personal opinion on progression as, as it stands this spot was so strong in the current version of the game because of this cave i mean it's proximity to silverlight and it's proximity to this cave passage which is like up here for cursed forest so you're in cursed forest you're farming everything you take this cave it zips you down here 
you hop out, boom, you're done. You farm Brighthaven, you ride up here, hop down here, boom, you're done. You're back home. So now every single cave comes out in Farbane, which means that Farbane is actually kind of valuable since you can just teleport to anywhere on the map. You just use your own teleporter to get where you want to go. And then after that, just take a cave to get back to Farbane with all the resources you farmed. So that's that would make so if you're looking for that kind of a progression strategy, I would say anything in the center of the map is going to be extremely strong. This location looks nuts for like a dual castle heart location where you just like let's say you let's say you get the shards. Put a shard here, put a sh some shards over here. So that they have to siege both both sides to get your shards and you're right next to each other in order to like defend both sides of the castle. So that's an option. Um this location still going to be nuts. It looks like they got rid of the plateau and they made it but they made it like bigger to build in this whole zone. This is a huge spot now. Especially for like a single castle heart location. This is crazy. Close to Quincy. Still. Not too far from this cave. This cave. Honestly not even that far from this cave. So you have three cave exits that come up close to this. Right? This one. The reason I said this location is really good. Is because it's not that far from any of the cave locations. So like this one. It's not too far of a ride. These ones are right next to it. This one. It's not really that far of a ride. Also it's going to be a safer ride. To ride through Farbane. Than it is going to be to ride through like Gloomrot. Or Silverlight. Or Cursed Forest. So. Um. So things to notice, things to note, progression, right? So what I'm looking for with all this, with, with this, I, with, uh, with a base is a spot that is both fairly or highly defensible and easily accessible for progressions, which is why I'm noticing, I'm, I'm noting how strong all these bases are. This base, this is a pretty defensible base right here. That's kind of nuts. They've, they've made this whole area wild. That's, they used to have a bunch of entrances here. And now there's only one, which is pretty strong. Um, so if we look at this as well, uh, down here, this is going to be a huge like squad location. You know, if you have like a four castle heart or something like that from squads, this is pretty huge. This is an enormous location. I'm not really sure how these go, you know, these territories work with claiming. Like if this is one, like all of this or like this, I'm not really sure. But as a squad, this would be a really crazy place to have. Um, up here, another good squad spot still. This spot, you know, this one's actually kind of crazy. So this is what it looks like right now. The, sadly, the triple plateau is gone. Rest in peace. Very sad. Um, but this spot here, which was always kind of a good spot for like a double castle location in terms of just like land mass. This is huge. Look at what it looks like now. Oh, that's not it. <laughs> look at what it looks like now. It's in Um Look at what it looks like now. So this, it looks like this is like an entrance that comes around over here, but they've, they split it up into two bases. They took hat, part of the double, the triple plateau and moved it over here. So like this could be a good trios slash squad location. Honestly, this is just this spot right here. Interesting. And it's also very close to this exit, which is from Cursed Forest. Um, and not too far from this as well, which is from Gloom, Gloomrat. So this is an interesting one for a squad. Uh, for a solo player, this one is wild. Like, this is a very huge location. So defensively, this one's just fantastic. Um, again, yeah, so again, this is why we're looking in Farbane. Uh, just because of those caves. Um, this spot over here, super interesting. A uh, little bit trashy, actually, uh, looking at this, because you can kind of just walk in right here, so maybe not. Um, big locations down here, but... I'm not much of a fan of the locations that are really far down here. They are close to the Dunley exit, and like this is the Silverlight exit, so it's not, you know, it's not terrible. But it's also just so far away from the rest of everything in the entire map that at the beginning of the game, you're going to have to run forever just to get back to your base. So keep that in mind. Um, again, time will tell on a lot of these. It's going to be very difficult. Like this could be a very interesting one. If you look at this, there's only one entrance up here. So you like run from here up to this plateau and then up another plateau and it's really big this one kind of reminds me of the spot in dunley like a smaller version of this spot in dunley right here where you like run through here and then run up here um that's but that kind of reminds me of a smaller version of that so that's interesting 
but again, I would say as a solo base defensively, this one is this one's wild. This one's still really, 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 really good. Um, and then, yeah, so I would put those ones as probably like the top in terms of defensible. Oh yeah, this one up here. This one's crazy too. Um, so that's Dunley. I would probably say that this is going to be the best location to build an in-game, like a main base in terms of just like being like fairly different. But again, here's the problem. If you're trying to go for like defense for the shards, so like progression wise, these bases locations are great. That's the other thing to note is if you're not planning on making this the base you want to hold your shards in, you just want to make it a place to progress, then really just anything in here as a progression style base that isn't just like total garbage like this right here where people can just walk in from any side and just take your crap. <laughs> it's just like this. You know, there's some really bad spots here. Um, really bad spots looking at this. Like, it's just like all over the place. Um, like, yeah. So as long as you're not looking to make it a main base, you just wanted to make it like just for some basic progression. Like this one's kind of interesting for that because it's clo it's close to Quincy and then you can just like immediately right up here and sneak into Iron Mine, hop back down and right back to base. So that's an interesting one. This is an interesting one. That kind of thing, right? So if you're just making a progression base, not a shard base, then really just anywhere that's close to the caves would be really nice. Okay, now let's talk about Dunley. Dunley had a huge, say, had some enormous, this is, had the biggest changes, the most changes in the game, for sure. Um, progression wise, this spot is actually still solid because it's so close to Silverlight and Gloomrot. Um, and it's also, this side of the map is kind of like hidden OP to me because it's close to Mosswick and it has all the cotton farms down here. And I don't think people really realize how nice that can be to just like cruise down here real quick and just go in a straight line, make a loop around everything, get everything. I said, Yes, yeah sorry cruise down this thing right here you know get cotton make a loop around here there's horses right here loop like this and just loop back up make a quick loot run it's close to this which is the uh, quartz quarry so lots of glass coming in from that so this is actually a pretty solid spot still for like tier two progression it's not too bad it's also close to uh the iron cave not too far away from the iron cave yeah i would i would definitely take a peek at this definitely take a peek at this um, or said this spot here. So other than that, this spot didn't change. Still a solid spot for like Octavian camping. Um, something I noticed, this spot looks crazy. Is this, is this what it is on the normal map? This looks way bigger to me. Yeah, it is. So look at this. Oh my gosh, this is wild. So look how small this is, right? You have this little spot out here. Then you have this little spot here with like entrance entrance, which is like very similar to this one. These two are like very similar. Entrance entrance plateau. Look at this. Huge. Insanely long run. So like, even though this is like not too good for progression, this is actually fairly defensible. Like, okay, yeah, they can skip this part by just walking in the side, but like it's still a pretty long run to this thing. Um, this whole side has changed. Rest in peace, my rat, my shit shack over here. My little rat, my little rat shack right here. My one of my favorite things was right here uh, in the other map, just to build a tiny little thing. Can't do that anymore. No problem. No big deal. Trust me, I, I don't mind. No, but seriously. Um. Uh. So this side of the map still, it's it's pretty similar. This has changed a little bit. I believe this has changed a little bit, but. I wouldn't still if I could avoid it. I probably wouldn't build over here. This spot is going to be still to the still one of the craziest for progression. This or sorry for progression for defensive. This is insane. Here's the other thing I noticed. I don't know if it's like this now or not, but is this entrance gone? Like, is there no is there not going to be an entrance here? So this one right here, this used to have three entrances. It used to be like one, two, and I think like three down here, the double entrance right here. Now it looks like one, two. This looks like one, like there's no more entrance here. If that's the case, this is going to be one of the most defensible base locations in the game. Hands down, because you have to push all the way up through here and then all the way along the long edge here. So this is definitely something to, to look at. That is crazy. Um, this spot down here changed 
It's two base locations. This is good for a duo build where you claim both of them. You would keep a shard down here and some like a shard right here and then like a couple shards down here and make them force forced to fight you in two different spots. Meanwhile, for you, it wouldn't be hard to just like jump down from here and you know jump into your other base and get buff, jump down, get buff, you know, get buffs. So this spot's really good defensively still, just a little bit interesting in terms of like, you know. This one changed a little bit. It looks really cool. It only has two entrances here now and then right here, but yeah, this one's a little meh. Um, I think it's the two base locations, which is kind of interesting. So they did a lot of stuff where it was like, use two castle hearts to claim these two zones. So that's something that, that's something that is kind of interesting. Um, so for, okay, so for overall in Dunley, what I would say in terms of like, very good defensibility and very good spot for like, just what it looks like for like a shard base specifically. Progression bases are going to be the same like around here. So a lot of these are pretty good, but shard base, this is going to be probably the best one on the whole, in this whole area. This is ridiculous. If, the, if it has one entrance, if the entrance here is still, is still here, I mean, it's still crazy. But if it only has the one and you force them to go here, that is, <laughs> that is wild. So this one's insane for defense, for defensive abilities. Um, then this spot, defensively, this is really good. Uh, down here for a duo, split your shards, this is a good spot. Then up here, it's hard to see, the little base up here, right here. Um, this looks like one, two bases. So one base, two base. So this would be a good duo spot. Uh, this one's actually pretty good in terms of accessibility to like Curse Forest and Gloomrot over here. The issue with this one to me is that there's just no easy... Like, while you're farming tier two, having to run all the way back up here is very annoying. Um, obviously, you can, like, teleport down somewhere, but having to run all the way back up whenever you're, like, doing something over here and you have to run through tier two all the way around, up, all the way, okay, now I'm home. It's kind of annoying. And then also from, like, Silverlight, running from Silverlight all the way across the map, very annoying. Um, with Gloomrot, though, let me see if I can find that picture... With Gloomrot, it's not too terrible. Here, let me use this picture here. Yeah. So with Gloomrot, it's not too terrible. You know, going from here down like this, or from here over to this, is not that bad. Uh, from you know, specifically specifically from Gloomrot to this location isn't terrible. Obviously, Curse Forest is right next to it. But like, farm doing Brighthaven farming runs, which you're gonna have to do a trillion of, running all the way across the map to get here, is just a little crazy to me. So. Yeah, so, um, okay, so that's Dunley down. Let's look at Silverlight real quick. Mm, okay, here's an image. Here's a, here's a decent enough image. We can use this one too, but here, let's do that. Yeah, we'll go like this here. Let's go like this. Let's go like this. Let's do a little magic here, a little movie magic. And we'll go like this. Uh... Go like this and then we will zoom in look at that movie magic we love it love to see it okay this location has a few changes um some interesting ones this one actually looks like a really cool spot now <laughs> it's like visually it looks amazing but uh not as defensible as it used to be i don't think this one was changed you have the one here and then the one here so again, not as defensible as it used to be. I can't, it's hard to make out exactly what this looks like because the base is here, but it looks like it's only a two entrance thing here. This is a two entrance thing here. This is actually a really cool base location because I think, yeah, all of this. Yeah, look at that. You see the red outline. There's a single entrance access point here from this little bridge, which is pretty amazing. And you get this entire zone. So I'm going to keep my eye on this. I never really liked this location, even though it was broken in the other one because you could just put five walls here i really like this at this location here because it's close to bright haven which you're gonna have to farm like a maniac as well as silver but it's also fairly close to gloom rot and defensively this is crazy that you can just like one castle heart this and just build a thousand walls out of this whole thing this so this looks a little cracked so definitely keep your eye on this location for sure in silver light um, this spot up here changed, so this is now a POI, and it's an access point to Gloomrot, 
which I actually kind of like that base location, but that's okay. Um, this is a little small, interesting one. So this would be like a good duo castle heart spot. You have a little, you know, thing up here. You could put a shard here. But the problem is this one's just a little small, but they are close to silver. So keep that in mind. That's silver light. Biggest change to this would be this location, but even then this spot's still going to be, I think it might be even better or yeah, I'd say it would probably be even better than it was. Because before you couldn't use, before you can't take all of this with one castle heart. You just can't. But they got rid of, they put the river here. Right? Right here. So now, you don't actually have to claim this with a castle heart. And while, yeah, okay, they could sit across here, it doesn't matter. They can't even reach you, other than like frog forming across this river. But I mean, you just build walls. It doesn't matter anymore. Now they have to come across this bridge. And they have to, so the one castle heart can defend that can claim this entire zone. So, this spot might be even better than it was in terms of defensibility. So keep that in mind. Um, and then gloom rot. And then yeah, so then like the gloom rot spots. Here we go. Probably been waiting for this the whole time, wondering, hey, dude, why are you not showing this? But we're gonna talk about it now. The changes, the the map in gloom rot is. There are some really cool spots here um, that I think are going to be ridiculously strong, both in end game progression and defensibility. So this one, actually, ironically, he has one. Here. Look, he's got one here. This is actually a pretty good spot. But for me, I would say that so I'll, I'll point out the things I'm, I've seen. This right here for a duo castle heart for two like max level castle hearts right here is pretty nuts because look they can come in right here and go all the way around here or right here right so def i'm looking for the defensively this is pretty solid here and then this is pretty solid here and again you can just put shards shards you can split the shards up if you want to and then they have to invade through these huge castle zones so this is like you claim this entire part of the map it's close to these so from what i've seen these pois are ridiculously important so it's close to these pois this spot for a one castle heart nuts this is pretty good because even though it looks weird what's good about it to me is you can jump out the back which is kind of cool and then also like it's actually surprisingly a long distance to to fight your way up here so definitely keep an eye on this one and it's also here's another thing to note extremely extremely easy to access both early game and late game so this teleporter right here, you run up through here from Dunley. Um, and yes, yeah, so you run up here through Dunley and you're, you're like, you've already spotted the teleporter. You can just run up here and claim a, claim the zone. Like that's pretty insane. So this is definitely a good spot to look at. This spot over here, really defensible, solid location right next to a cave, which can be nice if you do like a, a dual, um, if you do a dual castle heart split between gloom rot and like dunley you can um i mean you could definitely take advantage of that so that one comes down right here so say you get a you know base location like uh you know a progression base let's say you grab one of the, you know these ones are good um i don't know let's see let's say you grab um, it doesn't even matter you know this spot this spot over here as a progression base or something or whatever this spot here anywhere around this cave you grab one of these as your starter progression location well you can just come up here whenever you're ready to make your like quote-unquote main defensive location and just make this your or sorry make yeah make this your main defensive location and then any or sorry i'm sorry make this your main defensive location and then use this cave like oh i need to transport something to my other base so you get it all done hop down here like all the match you've been farming like this like a madman jump down here hop in the cave boom you're back home so um other defensive locations this one is shockingly long so this one is actually kind of crazy it, it reminds me of this spot in farbane this one's still better because it has the one location. It, it is way longer. Um, but this one is actually really, really long. And it has the two locations, but it doesn't really matter because they're both like the same position. So they both have to go like 
this far to get to the back. So this one's, and it's right next to tier two, right next to tier two. So this one's super interesting as well. Um, up here, this is, this one's pretty crazy. I mean, look at this. That's nuts. This whole area as like a clan zone, it, super strong. I think it's like one, two, three, and then like four, I guess. Just leave this one open. But um, yeah, this is a super strong spot for like a clan specifically, but this base location is really, really good um defensively and other than that there are some really bad locations on in gloomrot i was looking at that and i was kind of like ew why did you do that like why didn't you just make it more range over here <laughs> why not just make this spot a little bit bigger i don't really understand why it's just this stubby just make this go like right there make this go like right here but instead it's this tiny little thing like it's nothing um this one's a little small. It's a little bigger, I guess. But yeah, there's some weird ones like that. Um, this one is almost good, but it has the entrance right here. So it's like, you're, you know, say you put shards up here, you just walk in the front door and then take a left and you're there, you know, so <laughs> not really much to it. This one's actually kind of interesting because even though there's two entrances, again, it's a long run. And this spot right here is right next to one, two, three, four big POIs. So, I mean, five, honestly, if you look at it that way. So I mean, this one is like super central and it's actually pretty defensible. So I would look at this one and this one. These ones are really kind of nuts. Um, also close to the cave. So definitely take a look at this one. Um, so yeah, that is that is Gloomrot's base locations for now. If there's anything I maybe didn't look at and didn't see, let me know. You have stuff like this, where this is just a little whack to me, or like this, like what is this? Like, where are you going to put anything in this base? It's like you're going to get raided from either end, and it doesn't actually matter because everything is equidistant to an exit. So, like, you put your stuff that matters here or here or here or here or in the center. It doesn't matter because they just walk in and take it. So, this is like, why did you make this like this? I don't really understand. Like, move it out a little. You know, see all this area right here? Just push this back and then, like, have one entrance. It's just weird that they did that. Same thing with this. Like... It's a little better, but not, not by much. You, know, you claim this and they just walk in and it's like, okay, cool. Well, yeah. Anyway, this should have been like one location, honestly. Um, anyway, so that is Gloomrot. And now the last one we're going to look at real quick is going to be Cursed Forest. Now, not much changed here. Uh, they actually got rid of a base location, which is kind of sad. I mean, obviously they had to, the one right over here, they had to make it something else. But now there's only this one, this one, and then there's, now this is two over here. This is similar to the one at Dunley, where you, you know, you had to duo claim one. I would definitely, this actually is probably something to consider now that I'm looking at this more. This is actually kind of cracked now that I'm looking at this more. What in the world? I did not realize how crazy this was. So essentially you make this a pointless wall castle. You claim this with one of your castle hearts, just make this just nothing but honeycomb and servants. Then you make this just an absolute hellscape of honeycomb. I mean, look how long that is to run all the way this way and all the way over that way. So this is an interesting spot for like a duo specifically. Definitely something to keep in mind here. It's a very, very, very far from anything else, but look at this. You got a new way gate, boys, right next to this. So this might be some place to keep in mind. Might be some place to keep in mind. Um, this one, hard to tell. I believe this is still two entrances, like the one here and one here. But this has always been a pretty defensively solid spot for like a huge location. So this one's definitely something to look at. But otherwise, um, yeah, still trash. Uh, defensively, this is just garbage. I think one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. You know, they can just attack you from any location. So this one's still trash for defensive abilities. Uh, pretty terrible for progression as well. So, but keep that in mind. So we have Gloomrot, or sorry, for Cursed Forest. I definitely put this one at the top. This is actually kind of nuts now. So anyway, 
that is going to be it for now. My suggestion for anyone who's just really trying to figure out what's going on here, my suggestion would be to make a progression base in tier one if you have access to Castle Hearts on your server. Make a progression base in tier one and then something else either in you know Silverlight because you're going to farm that crazy in Silverlight. Trust me when you go and look and you see what's going on in Silverlight. What, you know, what, what, how much you're going to have to be farming things from Silverlight. Having a base there would not be a bad idea. Um, having a base up in Gloomrot or close to Gloomrot, definitely not a bad idea. You know, this defensive location here, solid base for defense, etc., etc., etc. But that's going to do it for now. Hopefully you enjoyed that. Um, if there's anything else that you guys noticed that I may have not noticed, please let me know. Um... If I find more information, I'll probably make another video. We are T minus less than two days from Gloomrot. So, boys, we are so close. Super excited for it. Um, but thank you for watching in the meantime. And we will catch you in the next one.